the artist detective, where we investigate the lives and art of renowned artists like me. I am Rembrandt Van Rijn, the well-known, or shall we say, world-renowned painter who is known as a Dutch master from the 1600s. Today, I want to introduce you to another renowned artist who lived in the 1700s in England. His name is Thomas Gainsborough. Mm. Oh, would you like a spot of tea? I am Thomas Gainsborough. I was born in 1727 in Sudbury, Suffolk, England. When I was 13, I went to London to study art. I am a great portrait painter, dear sir, but really, I love painting landscapes. You don't enjoy portraits? Why, those are my favorite thing, and you are so good at them. I like your self-portraits, and those of your family, your wife Margaret, and your two daughters. Why, I hear that you and Sir Joshua Reynolds are the leading portraitists of your time in England in the late 1700s. Well, yes, old chap, that is true. I am even one of the favourite painters of King George III. You know, the King of England during that little conflict called the American War for Independence. Here is one of my portraits of King George III. And here is one of Queen Charlotte. I also was a founding member of the Royal Academy of Art in London. It is frustrating that I have to paint so many portraits, but having studied the portraits of Van Dyck, I attracted a respectable clientele, such as the King. You studied Van Dyck? He is a Dutch master, like me, Rembrandt. Did you study my portraits? Well, yes, old chap, we have all been influenced by you but I simply do not enjoy painting portraits the way you do. I paint portraits to live and landscapes because I love them. My favorite thing to do is to make the landscapes look fancy using feathery brushstrokes so that they look imaginary or ideal. You see, old chap, here is my most famous painting of Mr. and Mrs. Robert Andrews. It is a portrait indeed, but it is also a landscape painting, which is so important to me. Well, perhaps you have seen The Blue Boy. It does not include the landscape, but many people love this because it shows off my use of rich colours. Oui, very nice. I, Claude Bonnet, from France in the late 1800s, like landscapes too. But mine are impressions of the scene, which capture natural light. I am part of the Impressionist movement. I, Edgar Deca, am considered part of the Impressionist movement, so I prefer creating scenes of the theatre, especially ballet dancers. I, Berta Morisot, am also an Impressionist, who brings a woman's touch with my intimate portraits of domestic life. I, Vincent van Gogh, like both portraits and landscapes. I also like rich colors, though my textures are probably thicker than yours. So tell me, Mr. Gainsborough, why do you have this broccoli sitting here? Indeed, the broccoli. I dare say, old chap, I use it as a model to represent the woods of the background of the landscape I am working on. Indeed, I use the broccoli to paint my trees. Oh, indeed. All right, dear chaps, let's review about me. Everyone repeat after me. Thomas Gainsborough. Thomas Gainsborough. 1727 to 1788. 1727 to 1788. English painter. English painter. Founding member 
of the Royal Academy of Art in London. Founding member of the Royal Academy of Art in London. Portraits with landscapes. Portraits with landscapes. Broccoli. Broccoli. Good day, dear sirs. Thank you for joining us on the Artist Detective. We look forward to seeing you next time when we study the lives and art of other great artists like me and Thomas Gainsborough. Remember that Ecclesiastes 3.11 says God has made everything beautiful in its time. Until next time, Rembrandt and the Artist Detective.